Tai Qian from Tianjin, China, is in the fifth year of the Academy's oil painting course. Um 这是一张稍微有点立体主义、有点表现主义的一张一张静物。As a student, Hu Haiqian is very strict with himself. His commitment is appreciated by his tutor. У нас, как и в любой другой мастерской, есть обычная, ну, как бы постановочная часть, да, как бы мы пишем просто модель как бы по рисунку, по живописи. И в данном случае у него работы были всегда очень хорошие. Liu Enxi from Hainan in China has been in Russia for 10 years studying ballet. She was just 18 when she was admitted to the Vaganova Ballet Academy, the world's top ballet school. That was in 2016. Now, she's a first-year graduate student majoring in ballet education. Within the SCO region, an increasing number of international students like Hu Haiqian and Liu Enxi are taking advantage of the better education in certain subjects available in other countries. Academic exchanges between the universities of the SCO member states have become more frequent. On August the 16th, 2007, during a meeting of the Council of Heads of State of the SCO in Bishkek, Russian President Vladimir Putin proposed the founding of a university without borders. On November the 7th, 2011, the University of Shanghai Cooperation Organization was founded when representatives of 62 institutions from SCO member states signed its charter. In the 12 years since the SCO University project's launch, more than 80 universities from five member states have joined it. The SCO University Principles Forum is held regularly, and a mechanism has been established for exchanging experience in the development and modernization of the education system among member states. A specialist's cooperation program has also been initiated, providing training for more than 2,000 students.